So now we're going to be looking at the vestibular ocular reflex in both planes of movement as well. It's a good idea to have a preset metronome ready at 180 BPM and also one for 50 BPM for visual motion sensitivity we'll be looking at next. So we're going to be starting off with the target positioned again 90 centimetres back. Millie, I want you to keep your eyes on this target and you're going to do short movements rotating side to side at about 20 degrees side to side. I'm going to get you to do 10 repetitions, but again, it will be coming out to be about 20 head movements here. I'm just going to give you a feel of what this sounds like from the, and how fast you should be moving. Yep. So have the metronome there ready to guide. When you're ready, Millie, eyes on the target and those short, sharp, shiny, good. Stop there. So we'll wait for the 10 seconds to pass before asking about those four symptoms. The things that we look for here in terms of abnormalities is number one, to see if the eyes come off of the target. We're also looking for quality of head movement here to see if they can maintain pure rotation or if they start to recruit or incorporate other movements here and lose head control or trunk stability. We're then gonna repeat this test once we've checked for the symptoms, but this time we're gonna be working in pitch or a vertical plane up and down. Okay, Millie, we're going to be doing the same test, but this time we're going to be going up and down with your head. Just a small movement with your chin nodding, just like you're saying yes. Okay, so eyes on here. Let's go up and down. And stopping there. Again, waiting 10 seconds before asking about symptoms. 